guys and welcome back to another video and if I quickly set display clear that just so it's not in the way and we're back with another command block tutorial and this time we're going to do some grief protection because you never want your your spawn being griefed because the only um, default minecraft protections in the spawn chunks which is here so your actual spawn isn't being protected and just for demonstration I've opened it up so it looks like people can just walk through and what you will want to do is have um, as many blocks here as you want this is like how big the protection will go uh, for me it will just last four blocks and then what you will want to do is place down four blocks that aren't used in your spawn um, so I've just used wood because there's no wood here if I had say a nice wood pattern in the corners here I couldn't use wood there um, you'll see why later but for now just have as many blocks before the wood as po as you want so that will be how far the protection goes and then have um, at least four blocks of a block that isn't used in this in your spawn and you'll see why now as you see here it's kind of all cramped around and there's only one clock there so I'm gonna use a new technique for using redstone clocks which um, a guy called Daniel Edits told me about where you you basically fill an area with say redstone blocks replacing another type of block so if I fill about this big slash fill that and let's make it fill to about here redstone underscore block zero replace sponge obviously there's no sponge here so that won't work oops there we go and if we do the same fill it with sponge zero replace redstone underscore block then if we power this oh I need to swap it around I don't know why it does that Control X Control V uh, replace redstone underscore block sponge there we go now I can now that's constantly being powered um, but you can easily just destroy the blocks yeah you're, you're not having if I quickly do this you're not having it constantly replaced you can d easily just change where it is um, just to prove that it's working for place down sponge it instantly changes to redstone blocks so that shows that this this new clock is working. This also saves a lot of space because I can easily just put a block there, and now that's being powered because it's in the ground. Um, so for this protection, we'll want to use a new type of selector, and selectors is obviously at A. So for this, we want to um, we want to go. If you go on your F3. Um, where it says there's X, Y, Z block chunk facing biome light local difficulty that's on the left side and if you want to face east and then you want to face south you want to get the corner that's in the far east and far south um, blocks so as you see I'll probably highlight it on the video east and then south and you also want to get the lowest block so for here you want to do at A and then like a square bracket minus 60 comma 100 comma minus 3 so that's the coordinate of this block that I'm looking at as you see at the bottom of the F3 menu thing and now you want to find out how many blocks is east so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 blocks east if I get rid of that and then we want to do comma dx equals 16 and then add another comma and then we want to find out how many blocks it is up so it's one two let's just add a third one three so now if we do comma dy equals three and then finally if we go south we want to find out how many blocks it is south so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 again 
So comma dz equals 16. Now we can destroy all of these blocks because we have the selector we want. So basically the dx is how many blocks east, dy is how many blocks up, and dz is how many blocks that way. So if we go over to our command block area, what we want to do is do game mode A. So this is basically meaning they can't um, break any blocks or place any blocks. There is another way of doing it, which is using mining fatigue, but they can place blocks when they have mining fatigue on, but they can't destroy them. So game mode A, at A, and then we want to copy and paste this. And we'll also want to add at the end, um, M equals 0. So everyone that's in game mode 0 will get automatically set to game mode A, so they can't place break blocks. So if I go to game mode 0, I instantly get set to game mode A. Game mode 0, and then as you see, it says it's changed. 0, changed again. 0, changed again. So now I can't break any blocks. But now if I run out, I still can't break any blocks, even though I've left the spawn area. So if I go back to 1. Now, the reason why we had to change blocks, um, or had a different block that's not used here, is because when you walk on it, it will change your game mode back to zero because you're you're leaving the area, and the reason we want a, a at least four block gap, probably about five block gap, is so that you can't reach those blocks. Because if you stood here, as you see, I, I, at least five blocks is probably best instead of just four like I've done. Because if you stand here and they're in game mode zero, you can break the blocks that are there. But if you're five, you can't reach it. And the reason you want at least four blocks of the other type of block, in my case wood, is that you can jump over it. And um, So if you're in game mode zero here, you can jump over and reach here and just easily just grief it all. So now we want to get the coordinates of uh, here, and then all the way over to the other side. So this time we'll need a quite... A, we need the dx and dy and dz to be slightly bigger now. So if we do at a again, minus 64, comma 100, comma minus 7. Now it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 blocks. And it will be 24 going the other way because this is a perfect square. And it will be 1, 2, 3 up. So d x equals 24, dy equals 3, dz equals 24. And now we'll be using a command called execute. Execute basically executes a command based on whoever you select it to be. So if I do me, and then you need to do three of them, because that's where it's going to execute it. Slash say, hey, it will make me do slash say. So if I do normal slash say, it does the same thing. So I could even do execute slash summon pig tilde tilde tilde. So now it will summon a pig at me. It's as if it's running it for me. Uh, let me just kill these pigs. That's loud. That's loud. Okay, um, so now it's set their game mode constantly. Um, now we want to copy this place down another redstone block and now we want to do execute at a in that area tilde 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 detect tilde 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 because it's basically detecting what people are standing on um well it just detects blocks around them and but we're going to make it so it's the blocks they're stood on so it's execute entity tilde 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 command or execute entity tilde 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 detect tilde 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 block data command so we want to do planks zero because it's um, got no data value well it's got a data value of zero because it's the main wood and then we want to do the command so slash game mode zero at p because we want it to only work on them with a mode of a because otherwise if I take away that and just make it at P, game mode 0, say I've just come in, I'm ready to 
go look at the rules or whatever. You walk in. Game mode's been updated. Okay, that hasn't worked. I'm saying game mode's zero. Let's go see what the problem is. Oh, I need to go back into game mode one. Fail to execute detect. Plank zero. Wait, what type of planks is that? I might have got it wrong. No, it is plank zero. Wait. Yeah, planks. Some XP there. Okay, so... Let's just copy and paste the command into... Let's make sure it fits, yeah. Control V. Failure to execute detect. Uh, oh, right, you got to do minus one. There we go. Yeah, it's got to be minus one um, on the second set of uh, tildes because it's detecting in relative to you. So you want it to be um, minus one, which means the block below you. So that was my mistake. So now if I go do it, yep, yeah, look, it's just spamming you. So we only want to do it if you're in game mode A. So M equals two. So now I'm in game mode one, nothing happens. Game mode one here, nothing happens. So all your staff will be fine um, in the spawn area. They won't get set. But if I go down to zero, say I'm coming in to read the rules. I'm now game mode A, walk back out, I'm game mode zero again. I know you get you get spammed with your game mode has been updated, but it's it still works perfectly fine for grief protection. Obviously you can break these blocks here, but you could easily just extend the um, grief protection to about here. And you could also give them mining fatigue so they can't break the blocks. In fact we might as well do that just to show how it works. So we want to use this here. Place down another command block or resident block. Effect at a mining underscore fatigue. Um, the amount of seconds we'll do, you know what, we can just do like one second because it's a very fast clock. 255, true. I hope that works. I might have got them mixed up. Oh, there we go. Minor fatigue for one second. Obviously, it spams like that. But now, if we go to game mode zero, come here. If we try and mine it, it doesn't work. You could obviously also extend it out a few blocks because here I can break it and I can also break the blocks there. But as soon as I come in, it just stops me from being able to break it at all. So if we quickly just extend it like an extra four blocks, so. 28 and then over here 28 game mode 0 you might be able to just reach the last block no you can't so now I can't break any of these blocks even though I'm in game mode 0 come in here can't do anything come back out and break again so that's basically how you do grief protection so no one that's in your spawn can break any blocks unless they um, unless they're in game mode one. That's the only um, way they can come in here and grief. But you're probably not going to give them game mode one. So look, now I come out. It's fine. Go back in. Changes. 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 So your entire spawn's protected, and so is this bit. For some reason, it doubles. Okay, it changes one, two, three, four, five times there. But if I come here, it does it five times. Oh, I think I know why. It's because it's... Well, it doesn't really matter because... There... Oh, dear. I'm going to starve to death. Because uh, they, they're just going to be going in and out. It's not going to, it's only going to spam them a little bit. Um, it does that because the game mode 0 bit is here and the game mode A bit's here which is right on the edge. So if you walk slightly onto this block, uh, if I go into F5, as you see I'm slightly on both. 
So it, th it thinks I'm in game mode 1, but it also thinks I'm in game mode A at the same time. So it does that. So if you leave, say, a one block gap between... If we made spawn protection, if I go back into normal, here, and that way, and that way, you won't get that spam. Because it's setting your game mode A here, but game mode 0 here. So that's how you stop the spam appearing. Well, I'm, I'm assuming that's how you stop the spam. Um, I think that's it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.